Hello everyone and welcome back. I know that this is a bit different than normal videos. I am actually currently sitting on the floor um, just because it's still light out and I couldn't sit on my bed because I moved it nearer the window. Um, just so that I can make some more space so that I can actually get a set up for YouTube and I'm actually using my ring light that I got for the first time which I think is really good so far um, it definitely makes a difference so today after me rambling on I thought it would be fun to review the final season of 13 Reasons Why um, if you don't know what that is I'll just explain a bit more um, throughout the video before we start and if you haven't heard of it so we'll just get right into it. So for those who don't know what There's Some Reason Why is, it's a Netflix original TV series. I think it was maybe a book before but I um, can't remember. Um, but it was it's basically around like real life issues like mental health, sexual assault, um, murders and things like that. Um, so I want, I know that the first season or the first couple of seasons did have a lot of backlash for how graphic they were um, and I understand some of them like they were pretty graphic um, and I know a lot of people were triggered by them um, and it's understandable because they were pretty graphic. Um, I know that they did remove the scene where Hannah Baker kills herself um, which in a sense I'm sort of glad that they did because I did find it quite uncomfortable to watch but at the same time I'm like I don't know maybe they could have kept it in for the more understanding of the series but I'm kind of half and half on that one but that was just like a little recap you know it's it is a bit graphic but you know it talks about real life issues which I find is very important um, especially when it comes to mental health um, so I've given you a little bit of um, some backstory if you've never heard of it, hopefully that was good enough. Um, the final season is season 4, um, so you probably shouldn't watch this if you haven't seen it. Um, obviously with the thumbnail and everything I will like say that there is spoilers um, because I'm going to talk about it in full. So if you haven't seen it yet please do not watch this video until you've finished watching it, like come back and watch it if you want. Um, there's no pressure to watch this video though. Um, so the final season, um, I thought it was very very good, like I have enjoyed 13 Reasons Why as a whole. Um, I to be, When I look back at all the seasons, season one in comparison to the other three seasons, wasn't my favourite. I don't know why, but like as the more I like realise, like the character of Hannah Baker kind of annoyed me a lot. Um just with the whole aspect of she gave reasons why she killed herself, like and made these people feel bad for it. Um but just her as a character was quite annoying, quite frustrating in a sense as well. But the final season I thought was really like really good and it didn't end the way I expected it to end if I'm being completely honest. Um, I was very shocked with how it ended um, but we'll get to the end at some point. I'm just kind of rambling on here. I really liked the way that the season was as a whole because especially for Clay because Clay has got, well they've all gone through a lot but I personally felt that, you know, Clay's like the main, I don't know if it's the protagonist, he's like one of the main people, right? And they go through so much um, and no one is ever really there for him. Um, but I mean, I suppose he doesn't really let people in or really tells people, but with all of the stuff going on, everyone else supports everyone else, but I just never felt like anyone supported Clay. And I know that a lot of people don't like Clay because they feel like he's like this horrible person and things like that. And I can understand where they're coming from and how he doesn't know how to go about things and things like that. But I definitely felt like really, I did quite feel kind of bad for him in the final season because you know, 
he was going through so much with his mental health and I felt it was really interesting the way that they portrayed that. I didn't expect it to be him that was going around doing all these things like vandalising the school and you know doing all these things because he was like blank blacking out like he didn't remember anything um, and just the portrayal of his like anxiety and how you know he would envision the people that were dead next to him and stuff like that um, and he would have conversations with them and stuff um, I thought that was really nicely done the way that they you know were talk it like the, the way that they kind of made his journey because you know it wasn't a very straightforward journey for him which is this case for like mental health in general like it's not so straightforward it's very up and down and um, it's not just a, it's not like a straight line or anything so you know I really like that aspect and you know I like the way that it brought them all together in the end because they had like drifted apart um, I was very sad that Justin had to die um, because the way that I thought it was going to end was that because Clay had such bad mental health issues I genuinely thought that he was going to kill himself or something was going to happen along the way where he was going to die. I didn't expect it to be Justin um, but I understand why they killed him off because obviously with his use of heroin and when he was homeless in previous seasons and he would pay like pay people to have, like he pay to have sex kind of thing so it would make sense realistically for him to contract HIV1 to then to, for it to develop into AIDS with the type of person that he is so then it made sense for him to die i just really wish it was i didn't really wish none of them, none of them had to die really but it makes sense why he died, if that makes any sense. Um, but I just thought it was really well done. Um, and I think it was the right amount of episodes for the season. Um, for sure. Because usually they have 13, um, but they only had 10. And they were all super, super long, but they were so like... What's the word? Oh no. <laughs> They were just so gripping. I literally sat like this for like the whole time, for most of it, because I was just like, wait, what is happening? Like, who's doing this? Like, what's this? And I just like the aspect of how, you know, they kept the process of like Clay getting help and how, you know, he wasn't always very, he didn't always, it didn't always work out for him trying to talk about it with his therapist and then how he had to go to hospital and things like that um but as a whole I did think the series was very like the, the ending of the series was very good because you know I do I don't I mean they could obviously go lots of different ways if they wanted to continue but I felt like it was a very nice way to end it um despite Justin dying but you know, it brought them all together. They all, so it's like some of them kind of found themselves along the way or they overcame certain things. And you know, it was quite nice to see those characters that you've seen go through so much kind of have like a nice happier, end, like a happier-ish ending to what they've had previously, you know, like multiple people dying and then them having to cover up murders and like the whole shebang. So it was very, very nice to see that they had a little bit of a happy ending that they deserved um, and just kind of makes you think you know how did they get how were they going to get on in college that sort of thing and um, because they could have played it on where they were at college and then they still kept running into each other and things like that but it could have gone on too long to the point where it just wasn't like they it could have gone on for long too long and then we would have realised it should have been stopped at an earlier point. So I'm really glad that they had ended it where they had. Although it's going to be sad to not have a new season to watch in future. But they're always there to rewatch, I suppose. But as a whole, I thought it was really good. And I appreciate the fact that they talk about such um, 
real issues that happen around the, like in real life um, and you know some people don't agree with how they go about things but in real life one journey is different from another person's and someone else's journey can cause them to have different other like consequences or other path that they take so it's interesting the way that they did go about it in the series as a whole especially in the final season um, but I definitely think I like the way that they had done it I didn't like Winston not at all though um, I thought like it was unfair of him to just keep going in and trying to stick his nose in trying to solve everything but then when he found out it was Alex who killed Bryce he then never done anything because he loved him and it was just kind of like I was like oh that's so good I'm so glad he won't do anything with it and then the sheriff closed the case and things but at the same time I was like you don't even have to stick your nose in in the first place but I understand why because he really cared about Monty and things like that but I definitely recommend the series if you don't get upset or offended by those types of things and um, because it is quite an intense series um, to watch. It's very good but there is some very graphic scenes um, in it that people will find upsetting which is completely understandable but yeah I really enjoyed the series as a whole and I'm just kind of glad with the way it ended. So I'm really sorry if this was really rambly, but um, I just thought it would be fun to just come and talk about it. I did finish watching it last night, so I thought it would just be good for me to do a little tiny review <laughs> and, and, what, and my thoughts about it since I just recently watched it. Um, hopefully this video was okay and not too short and boring um, and me repeating myself all the times. If it was, then what can you do? Um, I do have lots of ideas for the next few videos, being completely honest. I kind of just had a brain blank and thought this is the only thing I could come up with that I could film in short notice that wasn't completely planned of some sort. So as you know, I like to be transparent with you guys and if you watch this far, you will figure out why this is a bit random. But if you would like to see more in-depth reviews of TV shows or films or anything for that matter, please leave a comment below and just let me know if you would or even like to let me know that you would want to see that again in the future. So I'm going to stop rambling on like an idiot and I'll see you guys next time.